Hello and welcome back to the Journeyman series. This is episode number 19. We are in group three and we have taken a hold of Club Bruges here in the Belgian League. Not the best of starts, only the one win for us so far, uh, sitting in 13th position after six games. Now, today's episode might be a little bit different. Uh, we've got World Cup qualifiers to deal with. So if we jump across quickly, uh, we can see here eight games played. I think there's 10 in the qualifiers, so we'll have the remaining two games from memory. Uh, we have Greece and Scotland, so uh, if we can get two wins here, uh, we're in with a sniff, but we would need Switzerland to lose both of their matches uh, for us to be in anywhere near contention of possibly qualifying for this World Cup. I'm not too concerned if we don't qualify. Um, obviously, we don't have a lot of our youth talent into this squad just yet. Uh, it's really just sort of a testing base to see where Austria is sitting in the world. But... Um, yeah, we're going to play both of the games just to just to see if there's a, a an inkling of a chance that we can possibly push through to the World Cup qualifier. So we'll probably only go through one month uh, of action here in this episode. Um, one other thing I did want to cover, uh, if we go across here to the Euro League, which um, Club Rouge has qualified for, uh, let's have a look through the groups because. Uh, we are there in Group 2. We've got Spurs, Rapid Vine, and Den Haag. Now, we're not really going to be playing these games. I might play a couple of them to try and put us through, purely for the fact that Shamrock Rovers are in the Euro League, so the, the opportunity to possibly play one of our former teams would be outstanding. Not sure if Shamrock will push through to the knockouts. Uh, and also in Group... Uh, group I is Rosenborg. So uh, both of our former teams are involved in the Euro League. So if we can push through with Club Bruges here, uh, we may get a chance to take on one of our former teams. So that could be very interesting. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see if the, if the boys are up for a challenge. A pretty poor start so far to the season for them. We need to get them firing. That is for sure. Right, so if I take a look at September, right here off the cast, we've got Scotland and Greece. We're going to play both of those games in this episode, um, and then I will simulate the rest. So there's a couple of EuroLeague games there for us. And we'll probably call it at the end of September. It's uh, two games, a month worth of action. That should be enough for this episode, and we can concentrate a bit more on Club Rouge moving forward, because then it turns into international friendlies. Uh, maybe we'll take on Spurs in the next episode just for shits and giggles and uh, some real, real test to see if this Club Bruce squad is alive and kicking. So anyway, let's get simulating, let's get into the World Cup action and let's see if Austria can get in with a sniff of qualifying for the World Cup. All right, here we go. It is uh, the second last game, I believe, of the qualifications in the World Cup qualifiers. Scotland and Austria will be going at it. Scotland have definitely not had a good campaign here. I think they're sitting bottom of the table. And we've made David Alaba the captain as we sit here in third with four wins. And four losses. There's no fucking putting a yawn. Jesus Christ. Too early to be on. And in saying that, it's uh, 7 a.m. I've just woken up and I've decided, you know what, we need to get this episode recorded. So that is the daily grind. Um... Yeah, unfortunately, uh, you know, we have been talking about the Gruber's number situation. And unfortunately, uh, due to us not being in control of Rosenborg, I cannot change his number. Uh, you used to be able to change the international numbers, but you can't do it anymore for some stupid reason. So he is stuck with that number for the foreseeable future unless we can make a play and uh, bring him to Club Rouge at some stage. Um, so apologies if it is offending anyone. Hopefully... We can just uh, put it aside and, and, and stick with the diehard uh, reference rather than the other shit. Um, but I do, I, I do, you know, I do. I'm not disrespecting in any in any way. But um, yeah, it's out of my hands at the moment. I cannot change his number, so uh, he's he's stuck with the 88. And um, well, we'll just have to make do with that. And we'll see if we can bring him to Club Bruges if, if the option becomes available. Uh, Austria now, well, you know, it's been a bit of a hit and miss World Cup campaign here for us. 
There is the Scotland lineup. Um, yeah, I mean, we simulated a couple. We weren't really too concerned with what was happening in the World Cup this year. Obviously, only one youth player in the squad for this one with the injury to Lena. Um, so, I don't know. I just felt that we should probably play these two games, though, because uh, we are here in with a sniff. So, we've gone with Linda, Bauer, Wimmer, Hintiger, uh, Bauer, Wobber. Uh, Hol, Holha, Holsha, 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 Alaba, Anotovic, Sabitza, Schoff, and uh, Berhard Gruber is up front here for the Austrians. Come on, boys. Let's get this. Keep this hope alive. Works and weaves his way through the traffic. The captain holds up the play nicely. That was a lovely little touch. Feeds it off. Anotovic, oh, he's giving it away. He's getting too old. He'll bring it inside. Grooves. Turns his man beautifully. Gruber shoots! Oh, it's gone high. That's a poor touch, but he'll get the ball back here. Slips it off in Altovic. Holhauser up. Sabitz up. Needs a run. Alaba. Plays it forward. Sabitz up. Plays it back forward for Alaba, who shoots. It's taken a deflection. In the corner for the Austrians, who seem to be in control of the game. 21 minutes in. Holhauser whips in. Comes out the back. Here's Wimmer. Plays it off, Hintiger, David Alaba, he's giving that one away, but he'll get the ball back here, finds Grooves, oh lovely turn from Gruber, oh what a save from Archer. Here's a break for Austria, and Neltovic pushes his way forward, Sabitzer needed to run inside, but it's Neltovic, chips over the top, they're looking for Gruber. Samita has a piece of it here. He'll play it back. Holhauser plays it forward. And Neltovic brings it inside. Grubes does well. Lays it off. Sabitzer. Alaba. Gruber trying to fight his way through. Gets the strike. But Archie with the save. Well, the attack has come from Austria. But Scotland have weathered the storm. It's nil all at half time. And the second half gets underway. Alaba with a little ball across the top. Schroff brings it in. Gruber! Oh, straight at Archer again. Wimmer. Holhauser. David Alaba off to Gruber. Gets the touch on. Sabitzer tries to work his way through the traffic. It's a beautiful touch. Sabitzer works the Canley defender. And another corner here for Austria. Scotland trying to get us on the counter here. They feed it inside. Here is Gould. For their first shot of the game, and they put it in the back of the net. Oh, for fuck's sake, Austria. Where was the defensive pressure there? Trying to hold them off, but it didn't matter. Scotland get a sniff of hope, and they find themselves a goal in the 60th minute with their first proper attack. And two men on him, somehow slips it off. And the number 15 in Holhauser gets caught behind, and the keeper has no chance. Needs to get this pass away. I'm pressing fucking pass! For fuck's sake! Don't fuck me! Oh, come on, boys! Austria's gone to fucking sleep! Oh, fuck off! Right, we're going to make three changes. Lima, Lazaro and Schaub check in. Alaba, Schoff and Aneltovic check out. Alaba just cannot run a full game out in the midfield. He is dead. And utilise his putt. Oh, ref! Fuck's sake! Well, that'll be us done. Beaten by bottom place. Fucking Scotland with one shot. 11 shots to two. They had two on target. We had the possession. Oh, fuck me. That's frustrating. And there goes our World Cup. Any chance, any sniff is done and dusted. Right, there's no real point in playing this game here against Greece. Switzerland did win their encounter, so they are too far clear. And it's a 2-2 draw against the Greeks. We've got work to do here in Austria if we uh, keep our job. Right, so considering we're not playing that Greek game, uh, I'm going to play uh, this EuroLeague encounter here against Rapid Vine um, just to uh, fill this episode out. All right, so let's get simulated. Right, an away game here against Charleroi. And uh, a 1 1 draw. Oh, we need this team fit and firing. What is going on here? Well, the Euroleague gets underway here against Ardo. Galo gets a goal in the fifth. They equalise in the sixth, and we go down 2 1. This Club Bruges side is absolutely missing something. 
And we're going to have to take care of that very, very quickly. Right, a home game here against Standard Lee Liage. Oh, I can't remember. A nil-nil draw. Well, we've got an away game here against, is it Yupin? Uh, Koopman puts in a goal in the fifth, and we actually get a victory 2-0. All right, here we go. Some Euro League action as Club Bruges at the Jan Bredel Stadium hosting SK Rapid Bayern. Uh, the Austrian contingent, so uh, Austrians through and through in this career mode by the looks of things. But um, yeah, I mean, Euro League probably not something I want to concentrate on. But the fact that Rosenborg and Shamrock Rovers are in the competition makes me want to try and see if we can push through uh, to the knockout rounds. Uh, just for the, the off chance that we might be able to take on one of those teams if they get the job done themselves. Um, group, well, they the lost the first game there against Ado Den Haag, uh, but hopefully we can get uh, some points here against SK Rapid. I need to play these boys into some form because when the, when the team's in form, they tend to get the job done. When they're down in form, they're going to lose a lot more of their simulation game. So uh, we'll need to pick up a couple. Uh, here's the lineup that I've gone with. Uh, we've got Bolo between the sticks, uh, Tuba, Webster, Vigerva, Gomez Pereira, the uh, the regen we brought in, uh, Nakamba and Koopman in the midfield, Gala was out on the left, Vanekin in the cam roll, uh, Rotorio on the right, and Toko Akambi is up front. And let's just get straight into this game and see if we can get some points here for Club Rouge. Vanekin. Plays on through, there's Gallo. Plays it off. Toko Akami gets in! 1 0 Club Rouge. Toko Akami finds the finish. Oh, and he goes for a bit of a dance. What is that celebration? Oh. Lovely finish, turned and burned it. Whips it in the top right and has an absolute dance on the edge of the box. Lovely finish. Club Rouge take the box seat. 1-0. Oh, look at him go. Look at the moves. Yeah, boy. Come on. Get on. Nice work, Carl. Oh, good ball forward. Garlo gets on the end of it again. Dodging and weaving his way through the traffic. Ricardo Garlo gets into a spot to shoot. Picked off. Rodario, Vatican, Koopman. Plays it off. Rodario blocked by Bolongoli. That one's going to go out. Yes, it is. Well, Rotorio gets the touch on and finds Garlo. And he'll go on a sprightly, pacey run here. Come on, Garlo. Where is you? Oh, Zesty. Zesty from Garlo. There's the cross over to the back. Rotorio puts it in. Assist from Garlo. It's 2 0. Get in, boys. 2 0 Club Rouge. Finally shown up for a match. Romania gets himself the goal. Probably a little. Cross to the back post. And just taps it home. Just tap, tap, tap it in. Two nil. Oh, good work from Koopman. Rotorio plays this one through. There's Toko Akambi. He'll play it out wide here. Ricardo Gallo starting to have a bit of influence. Lays it back. Finds Tuba. Brings it inside. Nakamba. Back out wide. Gallo. Trying to play it forward. Picked off by the defence. Closing in on half time. Tuba's been done like a dinner. And Ricardo Gallo getting back to help out the defensive line. They go back through the middle, but there's the whistle. A good first half from Club Bruges. It's 2-0. Oh, Gallo just imposes himself. He's not the biggest of lads, but he's used some strength there. Here's Koopman. Back to Gallo. He'll feed it out wide here to Tuba. Tuba works his way forward. Can he get a pass on? No, he's crap. But Gallo comes flying through the back. And the Italian winger works his way down to the corner store. Can he get him cross inside? He needs to do something with it. Gets picked off. And it's out for a throw in. Gallo to Tuba, who's picked up a knock. Here is Gallo. Whips it into the back post. Oh, Rotorio on the end again. He can't beat the keeper this time. Oh, great work from Gomez Pereira. And here is Rotorio. Works his way forward. Slams this one off. Toka was definitely not wary of that ball coming forward. Here it comes Rapid Vine again. Oh, lovely sidestep. There's oh, great save. How do you say his name? I'm gonna go with Billo or Billo. Billo, how you going, Billo? Great save, Billo. Gallo's gonna to have to do a job, and he does. Lovely work from the little Italian roadster. Works his way forward here. 
Slips it off, gets the run here from Vanekin Skywalker. Can he get a touch on? Feeds it off here for Koopman. Come on, Koops. Playing it back inside, Vanekin. Passes this one off, but straight to the opposition. And they come through. Rapid vine. Out wide. Thomas Burr misses the challenge. They come back through the middle. Merck feeds it off. Oh, no. They put one in. 67 minutes gone. They slip through like a hot knife in butter and find the back of the net. And it's game on here. 2-1. Well, our defence was shredded. Absolutely stripped of their own pants. Thomas Pereira misses the challenge and that opens up some space. Two one. Quick ball out wide from the kickoff and Rotorio, the Romanian, works. Oh, leveled, leveled. All right, let's make some changes. Lestian, August Jespersen checks in and Vandermal, Vanekin, Rotorio, and Koopman check out. Gallo goes into the cam roll. Lestian to the left, Jespersen to the right. Jespersen does well to Vandermarel. Works his way forward. Tries to get one off here. Oh, Lestian. Let's go, Lestian. Feed it inside. Takes the strike and puts it in the back of the net. Lovely finish. And that'll secure the three points here. It's 3 1. Comes over. And celebrates with the crowd. 85 minutes. Checks in as a sub. He's a bit of an albino by the looks of things. And then he makes it 3 1. Just wrecked it down that left hand side. And. Class finish, 3-1. There's Lestian again. Gets in here early. Slips it forward, Toko Akambi has made his... Oh, leveled. Is it a free kick or a penalty? That is the question. A yellow card for his trouble and Christopher Darbin. Well, taking down our striker on attack. And I'm not sure whether he was inside the box or not. It is a penalty. It is Ricardo Gallo to step up. And can Young Galo get it in? He can. He makes it 4 1. Oh. <laughs> That's an interesting celebration there, Galo. And 4 1, boys. Club Bruges. That's the kind of performance we've been looking for. Nice end to Galo. Plays it back, two, but there's the whistle. 4 1. Three points for Club Bruges. Well, definitely the kind of performance we were looking for. 13 shots to three, only six on target, though. 14 tackles, we had the possession. A game controlled there by Club Bruges. And Ricardo Gallo gets the man of the match, 9.3. Right, we've got a youth squad monthly report. Killian Vimmer is he's 18 years of age. He's a 79 to 87 uh, winger from Austria. Uh, he'll probably ask for a call up soon, but uh, a low overall. Kong Chen, 78 to 86, he's dropped off. Pyong Pen, still looking good, 84 to 94. Uh, Jurgen Dreschler, 54 overall, 76 to 90. Zhong Qian, 75 to 93, centre back from China. Man Han has dropped right off, he can be released. And uh, Anne Wei, 72 to 88 uh, in the Youth Academy. Not worth bringing any of these lads into the first team just yet. Right, so that's where we're going to wrap up today's episode. Just one month of action, but we obviously had the World Cup encounter there, uh, which we will be out of if I jump across. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that's us done finishing third there in the World Cup qualifiers. Not a bad start, but uh, definitely need to bolster some action there. We conceded way too many goals. Uh, keeping uh, is definitely one thing that needs to be bolstered, but uh, we picked up some decent ones at Rosenborg, so they shouldn't be too far away from uh, starting to get some decent growth, and maybe we can bring one here to Club Bruges if they become available for sale. Not the best of starts here for Club Bruges, but hopefully uh, if we play a few extra games, we can get some momentum for the team, find them a little bit of form, and that will help them climb up the table. Currently sitting in 10th after nine games. Um, only the two wins for us so far, but we have picked up 10 points, only four points out of those uh, that playoff scenario that it chops to. I think it's 30 games, and then it chops over to that playoff scenario. So we need to push up. We need to at least finish in that top six this season. But uh, hopefully you're enjoying the journey, man. Nice to see some more tweets coming through of how you are traveling in your series. Feel free to leave me comments down below on how you are going with your career modes as well. And we will see you in another episode. I'm Spiron DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one.